हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू लाइक ऑफ इंडिया चैनल एपिसोड फाइव इन दिस एपिसोड आई विल बी टेलिंग द डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ लाइक इन इंडिया सो इफ यू गो बैक टू हिस्ट्री लाइक ऑफ इंडिया स्टडीड सिंस कार लिनियस पीरियड दैट इज 1753 फिफ्टी थ्री ऑनवर्ड्स सो बिफोर द इंडिपेंडेंस एंड ऑल सी लाइक ऑफ इंडिया आर मोस्टली स्टडीड बाई यूरोपियन बॉटनिस्ट और लाइकोलॉजिस्ट सो देर आन even after the independence for some time although indian researchers studied the lichens they were dependent again on the european lichenologist so all credit goes to dr dd avasti who is also known as father of indian lichenology who started the lichen study center at lucknow university so from there onwards several other organization on lichen research was set up and lichens of india are being studied at present we have several organization which are studying the lichens of india so the, all these institution contributed towards knowing the diversity of lichens of india so i'll be telling them so if you see this graph at 1965 avasti produced the first list of lichens for india that is the catalog of indian lichens so it consisted 1310 species of lichens for all of the indian subcontinent out of which 960 or belong to purely india and thereafter ajay singh in 1980 compiled the progress in lichen research for 20 years that is after 1965 onwards and he listed about 120 species addition to the earlier lichens known from india that is after the catalog of uh, lichens by avasti then thereafter one more milestone we have during 1991 avasti produced two checklists or two keys for the identification of indian lichens that is keys for the macro lichens from indian subcontinent and micro lichens from indian subcontinent combining these two it produced about 1850 species 1850 species it combined thereafter in 1997 singh and sinha estimated are listed about 9 and 1 of 2021 species of lichens then recently that is in uh, 2010 2010 uh, singh and sinha again produced a monumental work they produced a, a checklist of indian lichens that is indian lichen and annotated checklist so there they have uh, listed 2305 species of lichens and this is the excellent book which is the which consist of the all the lichens of india that were described till then and thereafter we have a regular we have a regular monitoring or very regular documentation of the lichens being reported from india and at present there are 2511 species of lichens so as reported in the plant discoveries that is being published by uh, botanical survey of india so now we have 2511 species which is the uh, represented under 324 genera 78 family of which 541 are endemic to india about 21.2% is endemic to india we also have two monotypic genera one avastiella and hepsora and this 2511 species makes 12.59% of the world's known lichens and if you see the record from 2010 and to till 2016 we have added 200 19 species at an average of 36.5 one or 36.5 species per year and every year we are discovering new species so far from 2010 onwards we have discovered 74 new species that averages up to 10.5 species per year and you also not want to know the diversity of lichens in in the world so according to the latest publications by looking 
et al. 2017 that is published in the Bryologist regarding the classification of the lichens. So there he mentioned the presence of 19,419 species in the world that is less within 1,200 genera and 119 families, 40 orders. So this is the diversity of lichens in India. And uh, these are the 10 dominant uh, genera and families uh, of lichens in India. Graphis with 132 species makes the most dominant uh, genera in India followed by Lechenora with 91 species, Caloplaca 73 species, Pyranula 69 species, Pertusaria 64 species. Like that in this figure you can see 10 dominant genera. Likewise 10 dominant families Graphidaceae with 493 species under 38 genera makes the dominant family followed by Parmeliaceae with 357 species and 45 genera. It is followed by Physiaceae with 220 species under 22 genera. Likewise in this list you can see the 10 dominant families of lichens in India. So earlier Parmeliaceae was the most dominant family and it is replaced by Graphidaceae because now Graphidaceae includes both Graphidaceae as well as Thelotrimetiaceae under, uh, under it. And you know, if you see the lichenogeographic regions of India, Singh and Sinha in 1997 divided India into 8 lichenogeographic regions based on the 10 dominant lichen family and the genera. So they are Western Himalayas, Gangetic Plains, uh, Eastern Himalayas and Northeast India, Western Dry Region, Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats and Deccan Plateau, Central India, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. You can see in this map, in this picture, the all the eight lichenogeographic regions. You can see here in this table, Eastern Himalaya and Northeast Indian region with 1488 species has the maximum diversity. It is followed by Western Ghats with 1385 species and then comes Western Himalayan region with 1218 species. Thereafter, Gangetic Plains and then Central India, Andaman Nicobar Islands. So these are the other region having the maximum diversity. But certainly you can say Eastern Himalayan region, Western Ghats and Western Himalayan regions have the maximum diversity of lichens and these regions are be, can be considered as biodiversity, lichen diversity hotspots. And even if you see the maximum number percentage of endemism is seen in the Western Ghats and it is followed by Eastern Himalayan region. In the Western Ghats it has 48.05% of the endemism and in the Eastern Himalayan region it has 34.56% of endemism. And then if you see the different states having the rich lichen diversity, this is uh, that is Uttarakhand has the maximum number of diversity, it is about 1000 species. It is then followed by Tamil Nadu with 861 species, West Bengal because of the Darjeeling and the Sundarbans which are ex well explored, it has 726 species. Then comes Arunachal Pradesh with 667 species, Kerala 621 species, Sikkim 582 species, Karnataka 543 species, Himachal Pradesh 429 and also Jammu Kashmir 429 species, Andaman Nicobar has 421 species. These are the 10 states having the maximum diversity of lichens. But if you see, there are many uh, Indian states and the Urian territories which have very less lichen diversity. Some of them are not explored. For example, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Lakshadweep, Puducherry, Punjab. There are no lichen records at all from these states and the Union territories. Whereas Delhi, Haryana, Daman and Diyu, Dadar and Nagar Haveli, Chandigarh, these are the states and the Union territories. There are very few records or there are no records of lichens at all. From these places, there are no records of lichens at all. So it doesn't mean that 
these places do not have the lichens of course they have the lichen diversity but they are not explored are not sufficiently explored and uh, i have one caution i have to give you here and these number of lichens in whether it is in india whether it is in uh, different geographic regions or in different states this number keeps on varying it all depends on the person who compiles the data so you too should not con get confused with this number okay but whenever you quote something you should always refer some paper some uh, reference you have to give this is about diversity of lichens in india i hope this uh, video is helpful to you uh, please click like if you like it and also subscribe our channel lichens of india thank you very much